Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Usman talking here in a lovely evening of Michigan looking through the window. So today I'm gonna to talk about the benefits of fasting. Fasting is something that is not new to any one of us. You know, people have been fasting for centuries. People from different religions, from different perspectives and different things in their life have been fasting in the past. But today, recently, or in the current era, it has been found out that, you know, fasting was really beneficial to our ancestors and it has been promoted a lot through the you know health professionals that it's really really beneficial and that's what i am also trying to promote here that fasting is extremely useful to all of us except for some people or certain people who are going through certain medical problems like cancer or having chemotherapy and having heart problems and so on and so forth there are certain people who cannot fast but otherwise generally speaking Fasting is very, very beneficial. So let's come to it. First of all, fasting is very useful to protect you from getting diabetes. Diabetes is one of the leading killers today. So it, re it reduces the resistance of insulin. Like what happens in diabetics is like when you have insulin secreted into your body to you know, help in the metabolism of glucose or whatever you ate, like carbs. So that insulin helps in that process. But in diabetes, you have resistance in your receptors against that insulin so that insulin, despite of being present, does not help as much as it should or as much as it does in the people who don't have diabetes. So therefore, in fasting, you help promote that, you know, effectiveness of insulin so people who fast have a better receptor response against insulin or towards insulin compared to the people who do not fast so fasting helps in reducing the chances of getting diabetes very effectively and very efficiently another important thing is with the people who fast they have been found out to have a reduced incidence of plaque formation in their arteries in certain areas of your body especially heart or in your heart you have coronary arteries so those coronary arteries get plaque formation and that plaque formation leads to a heart attack or mi or a stroke in the brain and so on and so forth so people who fast have a lesser and lesser chance of getting those plaque formation so try to fast try to in introduce fast into your lifestyle into your day-to-day -day routine like you can fast twice a week or once a week or once a month or you can also have a one month fasting like you know muslim also do so it depends what pattern of fasting you want to follow but overall health perspective is huge when you're fasting so please try to incorporate that thing into your lifestyle it's gonna help you a lot Another important benefit that I found out from my research, and that's really essential for kids or the growing population is, fasting has been found out to promote the secretion of a very important hormone in our body from pituitary gland here. It's called growth hormone. That growth hormone is very essential for a growing person. And therefore, I would highly recommend the youth, the grow, growing population to fast on certain, you know, patterns or like you can fast for a month of Ramadan or you can fast intermittent fasting or you can have certain, you know, fasting trends and, you know, patterns that we can talk uh, in more detail in some other video, but that is going to promote the growth hormone. So that is a really, really beneficial point. So if you want your kids to grow healthy and to have a good growth, good maturation of their brain, their bones and their their reproductive system and so on and so forth they should also have fasting into their lifestyle another very good feature of fasting or a healthy benefit of fasting that i found out in my research is it reduces the amount of bad cholesterol so we have two types of cholesterol basically the the uh, the basic types of cholesterol are many but 
they dro drop down into two categories, healthy cholesterol and an un unhealthy cholesterol or the bad cholesterol, I want to say. So healthy cholesterol is a healthy one. It's a good one. It tries to lower down your bad cholesterol as well. And fasting has been found to promote the you know increase or you know improvement in the levels of your healthy cholesterol which we call as hdl as well so but there are other types of cholesterol like a vldl hdl and so on and so forth but i am focusing on the major points right here if you have more questions please ask me in the comments we can talk more about it uh, i'm just trying to you know uh, bring main main points here that i collected from different research papers. And another important point that I found out from my research is it, it has been found out to increase the lifespan of your people who are fasting. So people who fast have been, have been found to have a longer lifespan or they live longer compared to the people who do not fast. So that's another really interesting fact I found out from research papers that people who fast, they tend to live longer. So why not, you know, why not? Why not live a, live a happy and a healthy and a long life, you know? So another important thing I found out about fasting is it tends to lower down the incidence of dementia, like forgetfulness or Alzheimer's. So research says that people who fast have a lower or a delayed onset of Alzheimer's. That, <clears throat> excuse me, that is really, really interesting to me. So pe people, you know, these days have been, you know, getting towards an early onset of dementia and science and research is trying to find out, find out the ways that through which, you know, we can limit or reduce the onset of dementia or Alzheimer's. So fasting is one of those important things that you can have in your life through which you can, you can delay the onset of forgetfulness or dementia or Alzheimer's, you know, which is extremely exciting to me. I'm really excited here to share all the information that I gathered through different research papers you can check them out in the description and by the way please like subscribe and share this video because it's good to share healthy knowledge and promote healthy lifestyle in your people around another very important thing is fasting it has been found out to improve your metabolic health. The metabolic health is very essential to live a healthy lifestyle, like how you digest, how you process the food, how you utilize the food, and all those catabolism and anabolism and all those breakdown and building processes that you have in your body are very much essential for a healthy lifestyle and fasting gives you a break in certain parts of your body and gives you a push in certain other parts of your body and processes and therefore it's really good it's really essential and really really building towards you know metabolism and therefore you have a very good strong immune system and another thing is it reduces the incidence of inflammation. Inflammation is, is a generic or general term that explains a lot of things. Let's say if someone is getting MI, he also has some inflammation going on. If someone, somebody has a stroke, he also has some inflammation going on and so on and so forth. And all those things have been reduced because of fasting, have been found to be reduced in the people who fast so why not another very interesting fact and i am sure many people have tried it is that fasting reduces your weight if you follow a good pattern not like you you are fasting and then as soon as you break the fast you just bombard yourself with all sort of food like drink 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 all the water and the milk and you know take samosas take all sort of all sort of you know french fries and roast and broast and pizzas and then it's not going to help you. So let me be very clear here. In that case, it won't help. But if you, if you really take it in a healthy way, just eat healthy and yet, you know, fast, you are have, you're going to have a good healthy weight. You're going to have a good 
slim figure, the figure that you would love, the people would love. So that kind of weight reduction and waist re reduction and, you know, girth reduction and the fat body fat index reduction has been absolutely supported by fasting. All the research papers and everything that I came across was supportive of the fasting to lose weight, to lose fat, to lose cholesterol, to increase the healthy cholesterol and so on and so forth. I can go on and on and on and talk about it. I can write a big book on this subject. So even you can see how excited I am when I'm talking on this subject. So another very essential and very useful benefit of fasting is it helps reduce your blood pressure. Blood pressure is one of the leading killers. You know, people get stroke, you know, they get dementia, they get problems like MI, heart attack, I mean, and kidney failure. You name a medical problem, there would be some, you know, incorporation or some link of high blood pressure or even sometimes low blood pressure as well. It depends. And I have seen people who even go blind from hypertension. So hypertension is controlled in people who fast. Again, if you're on medication yeah, for diabetes or cholesterol or hypertension and so on and so forth, through this video, I'm not telling you people to quit taking those medication, but fasting, I'm just covering the fasting is going to help you control your blood pressure. So please like, subscribe and share to my channel and ask me questions in the comment section that what did you feel about, uh, you know, when you fasted and then how was your blood pressure, how was your blood sugar and so on and so forth. If you have any question, ask me. I'm really, really happy to answer those questions and please live, la live happy, live long and live a very healthy life. Have a great day. Bye.